Hello and welcome to this beautiful Capricorn full moon. I'm going to shuffle my deck really quick and see if we can channel an intuitive message um, on what to expect just for the collective. Um, I myself am very excited for this Capricorn full moon. Um, I really loved the Jupiter trine we had yesterday. We still have some of that energy blessing us. Um, for those of you who know, Jupiter is also retrograde, but it isn't um, something that's negative like Mercury retrograde. In fact, it's going to be bringing up old opportunities um, and old blessings. So you get like kind of a second chance at these things and um, this energy will be going on for the next like three to four months. So I'm going to do a video about it and then going into um, everyone's chart so like you'll know exactly how it'll affect you um, based on where Jupiter is in your natal chart. Um, so you'll be able to look that up on your own, but I'll explain what it means for whatever house it's in. But um, yeah, this Jupiter retrograde is a, actually a pretty good thing. It'll be pretty cool. And, um, you know, it's kind of like with Mercury retrograde. I know a lot of us had people from our past uh, blowing us up who <laughs> wanting a second chance. Um, and, you know, sometimes like just we had some just old situations come back. So with Jupiter, it's much the same, but I would say in a more positive light. Um, so that'll be very exciting um for this capricorn full moon really look and see where capricorn is in your chart um for instance my capricorn it rolls my seventh house and so um, for me it's going to be all about partnerships um pairing up with others also relationships but usually like long-term relationships so not so much just dating and having fun but there's people who are really really going to be there for you um in the future also like ne negotiations and um yeah marriage things like that <laughs> so let's say that capricorn rules with your first house that would mean that capricorn is um on your ascendant um i was doing a reading yesterday and um you know i, I just told her that with it being in her first house this is like going to be all about her like this full moon if she has any big goals like literally if you have a full moon on your ascendant basically it's like a blank slate for you and you get to just you know manifest all types of things but it'll help with like major life themes like her outlook in life even her physical appearance so um if it's like in your second house obviously that's going to be more related to your values money materials um your self-esteem your self-worth so if you're trying to manifest money it will really help one thing i like to say is that even if let's say Capricorn like rules your third, which your third is more of like communication, um, short trips, exploring, knowledge, hobbies, and even transportation. Um, if you like want to still manifest love, you can still do that. Like there's still other energies. And so just because, um, you know, the energy is not in your house of like, you know, your fifth house or your seventh house, it doesn't mean that you can't, um, or that you should hold back. It just means that the energy isn't going to be flowing as, um, I think, uh, as strongly, but you can still, you know, get the ball started. So let's see what cards come up for us. Um, just for this Capricorn new moon. We'll see if we have to pull any clarifiers. And then I also have my Goddess um, Oracle Terror deck. And I really, really like, love this deck. It's a really cute deck. You know, some Oracle cards, I, I feel like I have um, <laughs> a love-hate relationship. I think some of them are very insightful, and then others, I feel like they are maybe a little too positive. When, you know, in reality, sometimes we need, like, those warnings. Like, have you ever, like, done, like, a tarot reading, and then you ask a question, you get a card you don't like, so you, like, pull another card, and it's still, like, another negative card? <laughs> like, tarot has a way of, like, putting you in your place. Like, um, you heard me. I said what I said. With oracle decks, it's, like, eh, it's gonna be, you know, mostly, like, a positive, um, message. Not that it can't be helpful and give you guidance, but, um, I like to do oracle and tarot at the same time and not just rely on oracle because it'll only give you i feel like one side of the story so let's see what we have oh my gosh so we have the moon we have seven of pentacles and we have the page of swords so for a lot of us, I think we have some things that are coming into our life that we don't yet understand. Um, you know, the moon is definitely a card of, 
I mean, in, in traditional, it's a card of mystery, but also it's a little bit of anxiety. So if anyone has some major things that are changing in your life and you're like, I'm worried, I don't know where this is going, um, you know, this would most likely be the energy. With the Seven of Pentacles, this is calling for us to review the work that we've put in thus far. So let's say that this full moon in Capricorn is happening in your fifth house, okay? Odds are you're not completely feeling satisfied with your fifth house rules like um, your dating, your love, your heart, your passion, play, joy, romance, hobbies, and children. So odds are you're not completely feeling satisfied in this. So it's going to ask you to look on, all right, where are you at right now? What are you doing? But what could you do differently? And I think it's really asking us to kind of shoot for the moon, <laughs> like to just, to just go for it, um, you know, those things, even... You could be maybe calling it a life, maybe manifesting a life that literally has nothing to do with your reality right now. And with the Page of Swords, the Page is a very, um, this is definitely a card of vigilance, but also of looking around you. Um, what are your resources at this time? For a lot of us, um, you know, if, if we feel like we don't have enough right now we can figure out okay what can i use that is in my life right now what can i do to change you know whatever situation i am in um, that's going to basically put me on a timeline that is just better fitted for me so for some people this is going to be a timeline where you have um just more freedom maybe you can go out more maybe you can meet new people um for others this is going to be around you know your money maybe you're feeling like well money is going to be the cure to my freedom so you're going to be looking into other ways to maybe um make extra money or you know just to add something in your life with capricorn and i love this energy it's all about long term so whatever you're calling in right now it's not just going to be oh my gosh i had a lot of fun for like two months and then it's like the manifestation you know it kind of like died off and like you know now you're back to square one this is like this is the type of changes and calling in things that are going to stick with you for a very long time so it's all about going the distance um oh my gosh so we have freya Freya is, um, you know, a very bold goddess. And at the bottom it says, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. Then we have Sedna and it says infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. I get huge Capricorn vibes with this, um, just with, uh, just the longevity. Like it's not just going to bring in blessings like I said, for, you know, the next month or so, it's going to bring in, um, you know, long-term changes. And then we have Izzelt, and it is undying love. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. Usually when I read this, like, it is more towards um, relationships. Um, so maybe you had an ending, or I don't know, maybe you're not actually talking to someone right now, but they're, like, living in your mind rent-free <laughs> type energy. I want to see more information on what we should like our advice what should we be working towards um with this energy which i mean this is just a really 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 good full moon um so i hope you guys are going to do something for it maybe do some journaling um set some intentions you could do some candle work um make a prayer meditation anything so advice for us oh my gosh empress try to pop out advice for us is capricorn full moon now that we have the energy down you know the energy of just looking back on what is going on right now where are we in our lives but also what is causing us to feel a little bit of unrest a little bit of just i want change and then also what do we have to do with the page of swords like um what could you be looking into what could you be um learning more about to actually change your current reality that you're in right now and then right now i'm just trying to see what action should we be taking to help us with this um, so we have Queen of Cups. Oh my gosh, we have... <laughs> okay, guys, we have heavy cup energy. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of water. So the Queen of Cups, this is a very intuitive sign. So I think deep down inside, um, even without you probably knowing what Capricorn, like this is assuming you don't, without even seeing where Capricorn rules in your chart, I feel like you already know 
intuitively the changes that you want to make or the areas in your life where you're maybe feeling unsatisfied um and the queen of cups it's like she's unapologetic about what she feels in her heart being the queen of cups the queen of emotion and intuition and letting it guide her um she doesn't feel bad about it so she doesn't feel like she should be shamed if she really wants to call in a long-term relationship she doesn't feel shamed if she feels like she's not getting um you know if she's not making enough in her job like you know she doesn't feel like i'm asking for too much she feels like whatever is in her heart is the path that she's supposed to be on with the tower you are having a call for making a kind of a bold change and let this is going back to freya be bold i'm actually going to look this up in the book that comes with it to see what else they have for us um but this isn't really playing it safe this is like if you want that long term um those long term blessings that long term stability you're probably and isn't there like a saying i don't know if it's by einstein but um doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results like that's the definition for like uh I, I, I don't know the exact word but like i think it's like craziness or just like um you know just some type of just like you're basically I don't want to say psychotic, but it's just craziness. Um, if you really want big changes in your life, you're going to have to be bold. You're going to have to do something that is so different. So for some people, you might be jumping ship. Like seriously, you might be jumping ship. And I feel like with the Sedna, with this goddess popping up for us, kind of um, just giving us a little nudge, it's saying that it's okay, that you're going to have enough. So if you're worried, um, especially if you're leaving something, um, you know, if you're worried, oh, I'm never going to find someone like them. Or if you're worried about, oh, well, I don't know if I should move to that city. I won't know anyone. It's, it's saying that not only are you supplied for today, like, you know, you woke up today. Hopefully you had some breakfast. <laughs> you know, you have everything you need, but you're also going to have what you need for tomorrow. Um, and that just goes back on Capricorn energy of I'm not only going to benefit from this today, but also in the long term. And then we have the Ace of Cups. This is just more of intuitive and um, just just starting over, starting new. Um, usually in a love reading, this would be bringing in like new love. Like, so this would be a new relationship. You just meeting someone out of the blue, like maybe you're introduced to someone or I don't know, maybe someone approaches you. <laughs> like, but uh, I think for us, just like as the collective for other people, it's definitely just going to be, um, you know, taking that action to basically follow your heart like we definitely have just a lot of very in intuitive um a type uh cards just in this spread um i want to read a little bit about freya because i think it will be helpful to us so freya don't play it safe right now instead take bold action in the direction of your true heart's desire which is all of these water all of this water that we're, we've been getting um and also not playing it safe there's nothing safe about jumping out of a tower but if you see i mean the tower is freaking struck by lightning the tower is already burning this goes back to our moon card you're already feeling like you want to make these changes you're already feeling a little unsettled um but i think there is some um for some of us, our path, it's like, it's not exactly paved in gold right now. I think <laughs> there might be a little bit of smoke <laughs> on the path. And so it's not completely revealed to you because this is a more mysterious card. But you, you feel it deep down inside that what you want and these changes that you want to make. So um, this is just saying that success comes not from being timid, but from committing yourself fully to realizing your dream. Hold a clear intention of success and it shall come about. Enjoy the excitement of taking risks, of being bold, and of being daring. And so um, there are various meanings for this card and so they kind of explain it to us. So it's like take a risk, make a bold life change, appreciate your body, flirt, go have fun, and celebrate. Um, you know, with Ace of Cups. <laughs> for a lot of people, this is going to be um, your relationship life. Um, I think, but for others, it's just like reviewing how far you've come right now um what you've accomplished and is what you're doing right now if you were to continue it how are you going to feel within these next six months i mean we've made it we're halfway through this year so if things stay the same and you're still doing the same thing that you're doing right now in december of 2021 how would you feel right this is about what you've already accomplished the work you've already put in and then it's saying once you've got that analyzed figure out in what ways can you change that 
um, and so you know I, I see a lot of people having a lot of conversations a lot of people maybe putting themselves out there more and doing some you know some things that usually for them would be kind of risky but you know risky to everyone it's, it's gonna be different so for some people this is like making um, I don't know a, a dating like getting on a dating app like this is like making a bio <laughs> For other people, it's like finally talking to that person that you've had your eye on. Um, for others, it'll be um, looking in and maybe applying to some other jobs. Maybe some jobs that aren't even in your city that are like in another place. Um, for others, it might be like looking into getting your own place. Maybe you're not happy with the place that you're living um, and you just want more freedom. Maybe you just want a place of your own. I don't know. I'm very, very, very excited for this Capricorn energy. Um, I'm gonna be definitely setting my intentions tonight, um, though I've already been making some changes in my life to bring in more excitement, more fun, more freedom, and um, yeah, <laughs> taking more risks. So um, yeah, I will uh, definitely see you guys um, in the video about Jupiter in this Jupiter retrograde and what you can expect. This is gonna be based off of your natal chart, so Hopefully you guys have that handy and then uh, depending on what house it's in, it'll just kind of explain um, what you're going to be seeing happening over these next three months. All right, much love.